Hello and welcome to BOW, back here again with another non-LEGO review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Tyrannosaurus Rex Battle Bike with the Red Ranger. This set is made by a company called Forever Clever, I believe. Um, it is officially licensed through Hasbro. Sells at 5 below for $5 and is for ages 5 plus. Now this does contain 50 pieces. So it does hit that price per piece ratio if that is something you are looking for. But let me go ahead and tell you right away, this set is terrible. The quality of these bricks are absolutely terrible. I mean, the minifigure looks weird, I'll admit, like but honestly, I'm I'm not even going to um ride him too hard because he is actually probably the best part about this set. Since he is printed, and for the most part, even though he looks weird, a kid would probably like him and could put him in with the other minifigures. Now, this bike, oh my gosh, it is terrible. So first of all, you may notice that it just, it's not designed to stand up. Now, there is a kickstand on the side here, but that does absolutely nothing. Now, there are no printed pieces on the bike itself. Everything is stickers. And as you can see, I only put one sticker on it. Um, here's the whole sheet of stickers it comes with. Again, this is a 50-piece set, and it comes with, let's see. Looks like, looks like 18 stickers, I want to say, which is ridiculous. But let's put all of that aside. Let's put the bad design and the stickers aside. These bricks are actually terrible. So first of all, you'll notice, well, if my camera will focus, there are design flaws on most of the bricks where the molding wasn't done right, or you can see where it was broken off. Then we also have this piece on the front, which looks like a crushed up stud. Again, my camera is not going to focus well on this. And I do believe that is partially by choice, but you can also tell it's supposed to be a clear one and they included a white one. And now normally I can forgive, oh, for a second we got the stand. I can forgive small mistakes like that, you know. Not everything can be perfect. However, I don't think this was a mistake. I think they probably only make the white ones and just don't care. This is probably the worst set I have ever built. Um, it's not worth it. I wouldn't recommend it even for $5. It may be an officially licensed set, but my God, is it terrible. Um, the minifigure is the best thing about the set, and even it is weird. Now, I am going to give this a 2 out of 10. The only reason it's not getting a 1 is because it is officially licensed, and technically it does hit that price per piece ratio that a lot of people look for. But my God, this is terrible. Do not buy this. Honestly... Hasbro and let me get their name right. Yeah, Forever Clever should be ashamed of themselves. Um, I am definitely willing to give third party blocks a try. You guys already know that I am a fan of Snap and Switch. They have some great licensed sets and their blocks feel quality. This is trash and they should be ashamed of themselves. Um, so there's really not much more else to say about this. Don't buy this. It is a waste of your money. Um, if you're out of five below, check out Snap and Switch instead or Block Tech with their laser blocks. I have reviewed both of those and they are of much higher quality for the same price. And they usually contain double the pieces. So once again, this is a two out of 10. Don't buy this, it is not worth it. That is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time with a brand new video.